My name is Lansing Lee, and I'm a product manager working on AI glasses here at Meta. It's been really exciting to see how people are using AI glasses in their day-to-day -day lives to capture photos and videos, listen to music, books, podcasts, and to access voice and visual AI to ask questions and to get things done. Glasses connect to my phone while it's safely stashed in my bag or pocket, and I often have them on. So I find them to be a really perfect way to quickly send a message to a colleague, note something down so I don't forget it, check a calendar or flight time, capture a video of a nice moment, or when I need to, stay plugged in on that one important chat thread without constantly pulling out my phone. I walk to work, so every morning I've been using my Ray-Ban Metas to send voice notes on WhatsApp to my friends and family during my morning commute. It's made staying in touch so easy, and the big plus is that my eyes are up and on the road and my phone is stashed the whole time. There really is a lot that you can do with these things. But at the same time, people are telling us they want to do more with their glasses. They want to access more of the apps they love via the lightweight, on-the-go interactions that glasses enable. They want to be able to use the glasses camera and microphones with apps that capture photos and videos. They want to combine AI with the glasses form factor in novel ways. The developer community is all over this. They want to build these features and explore new ways to elevate the experience of their app with AI glasses. Today, we're announcing a way to do just that. We'll soon be releasing the Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit, an SDK for iOS and Android applications that enables developers to extend their mobile apps to glasses. By integrating a few lines of code into your app, you can build experiences that access the microphones, speakers, camera, and certain tap gestures on our AI glasses. These experiences live in your app's code, but they extend to glasses. To show you just how interesting this could be, imagine a gardening app where I can put on my glasses in the morning, walk out to my garden, and have an ongoing hands-free conversation with an AI-powered gardening expert that knows my region and the weather and what I've planted, knows what tools and fertilizer I have in the shed, and was with me when I planted everything last week. Because glasses are hands-free, my phone stays in my pocket while I ask questions, use the camera to capture photos or point out specific plants. I can talk to the app rather than focusing on a small keyboard on my phone, making for quicker, more intuitive, and more human interactions. And most magically, because the app can access the eye-level camera on my glasses when I give it permission, it can see what I see and give me deeply personalized, real-time advice based on the plants it sees in front of me. Or imagine a fitness app that helps personal trainers or coaches remotely coach their clients through a home workout. With our SDK, that app can now connect to glasses so that I can start my workout, enable the camera, put my phone away, and have my trainer coach me with in-ear audio while they see exactly what I see at home through my camera. My trainer and I can save clips to the app to refer to next time, and I can pause a workout when I need to take a break or answer the door. Wearables Device Access Toolkit will let you bring these and many more experiences to life for your users. So how does it work? Our SDK for iOS and Android apps includes CoreKit, which you'll use to establish a secure connection between your app and glasses and manage the lifecycle of your glasses feature, including the initial connection flow, as well as pausing, resuming, and stopping the experience. Once the connection is established, messages go directly from your app to glasses and back, maintaining a direct connection between you and the people using your app. Using our camera kit, you'll be able to stream frames from the glasses camera directly to your app and request permissions. And using iOS and Android Bluetooth profiles, you'll be able to send and receive audio from the device with the glasses, microphones, and open-ear speakers. Your users can safely lock their phone and background your app while maintaining the connection, so you'll be able to create truly hands-free experiences where their app can be set aside or stashed in a pocket or bag or a purse. Developer experience is really, really important to us. So we've kept our SDK lightweight and have included detailed docs and samples to make it really easy to get started. Developers can test ideas and iterate quickly using mock device kit without glasses or using developer mode on our AI glasses. Alongside the SDK, we will be releasing Wearables Developer Center, which will allow you to make versions of your integrations available remotely to your team members or beta testers, create and manage release channels, and manage team members that have access to your projects. Building an experience for AI glasses can open up real value for the people using your app, especially for quick, lightweight actions or where it pays to be hands-free. Here's an example. Imagine a city tour app that uses AI to create personalized tours of cities for people who like to travel. Their customers love the app, but they don't love having their phones out all day while they're walking around a new city. It 
makes them feel like a tourist and can also be unsafe and somewhat distracting. With Wearable's device access toolkit, the City Tour app can introduce a feature that allows their users to start a tour, put their phone away, and interact with the app solely via glasses. Imagine visiting Rome for the first time, Berlin or Paris. You walk out of your hotel, start your personalized walking tour, and then put your phone in your pocket or bag. The app uses CoreKit to start an experience, which triggers an audio tour guide that you can pause and resume by tapping the side of your glasses. Because the app has asked for your location, it knows where you are in the city. If you're approaching a monument and ask the app a question, it can use Camera Kit to access the glasses camera to see what you're looking at and give you a personalized answer. You can snap photos and videos from your glasses that you can store to the app for memories or to share with your travel companions or folks back home. You can engage in a conversation with the app through the glasses microphones, asking questions, going deeper on a particular topic, and bookmarking interesting things in the app to come back to over lunch. The beauty of all this is that open-ear speakers allow you to listen while you stay aware of your surroundings and your friend's conversation. And the camera on the glasses means that you don't need to pull out your phone when you have a question about what you're seeing. It can be truly, truly magical. The possibilities with Wearable's device access toolkit are almost endless. We're thrilled to see what directions the developer community takes with our AI glasses and how you solve new and valuable problems for your customers on this exciting new form factor. We'll be releasing the developer preview of the Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit later this year, where interested developers can try it out ahead of a broader launch in 2026. If you're interested, we encourage you to sign up on our interest forum at developer.meta.com wearables, and be sure to check out our other session, Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit 101, where we talk through how to build an integration start to finish. Thank you for listening. We truly can't wait to see what you build. Mm -hmm.